There is a mountain of things to discover and explain. With these words, Father Narcissio, a Franciscan friar from the custody of the Holy Land, who has lived in Jerusalem for almost 30 years, greeted the friars who participate in the course for spiritual animators of pilgrimages sponsored by the Studium Biblicum Franciscanum. 17 people, among which are commissioners, participated in the two-week training and revision in order to get to know the sacred places, as well as the sanctuaries and the history of the Holy Land very closely, under the expert guidance of the friars of the custody to be able to guide the future pilgrims. I've been organizing pilgrimages for many years now. This is the 15th time I have come to the Holy Land. This course allows me to participate more directly as a spiritual chaperone of the pilgrimage. Therefore, I am able to truly appreciate this journey with a greater awareness as a result of a greater training. I have discovered a lot of new things that I did not know about sites that I have already visited or had only heard about. And the most beautiful thing is to have had this long time to go to these places, stop, look, and listen to what these stones still communicate. The course was intense and diverse. The participant friars visited the main archaeological and religious sites in the Holy Land, from Nazareth to Capernaum, from the Sea of Galilee to Bethlehem, where the Custos made his solemn entrance at the opening of Advent. The journey combined religious, archaeological, and historical aspects in the certainty that each of them will be a valuable contribution to the search for truth. Through these historical evidences and descriptions confirmed by archaeology, we are certain, for example, with regard to the sanctuaries that we can visit today, of their exact location and approximate appearance, especially the first buildings in the time of Constantine in the early 4th century, in particular the Holy Sepulchre, Bethlehem, and the Mount of Olives. For the pilgrims arriving in the Holy Land, it is important to see these remains because they are a confirmation of authenticity. It means that we really are at the site where everything that Christ did was handed down. At the end of the course, the historical approach was analyzed in depth thanks to Father Narcissio's lessons. The friar told those present of the birth and evolution of Christianity in the Holy Land since the year zero, showing them some unique documents, a register of pilgrims and one of the conversions of 1500, a book of the records handwritten by monks from 1230 until the edict issued by Pope Clement VI in 1342. Let's divide the main history of the Holy Land into three parts. The first is the old one, which starts from the period immediately after Jesus Christ with the apostles and the Jewish Christians until the arrival of the first buildings and pagan shrines. The second period begins with the arrival of Muslims and ends with the Crusades, when the Holy Land was recovered by Christians. I call the third period Franciscan, because at this time we the Franciscans were practically the only ones present here in the Holy Land from 1342 when the custody of the Holy Land is listed as the official protector of the holy places by the Vatican. A wise and concrete group which led participants to see firsthand the places that Pope Paul VI defined the fifth gospel. Mm -hmm.